An $80 million scandal has the art world up in arms tonight. A series of fakes that sold for tens of millions of dollars. The gallery involved in the sale of over 30 fakes. It takes more than a really talented con man to pull off a forgery of this magnitude. <laughs> Anne Friedman was the director of Nodler Gallery. She had such a prominent reputation. Nodler is one of the oldest art galleries in the country. Glafira Rosales wrought approximately a dozen different works to Nodler Gallery. She comes in off the street with supposed masterpieces in the trunk of her car. Motherwell. Jackson Pollock. Rothkast. All of them from this same mysterious wealthy collector, Mr. X, who was from the Philippines. This collector was a Swiss collector. He didn't want his name to be disclosed. Uh, oh, yes, it had changed from the Philippines to Switzerland. You couldn't make this stuff up. It was incredible. An absolutely bizarre story for any dealer to accept. It's a business. These works went into the greatest museums in the world. But there was a point where questions were coming up. The analysts found that a yellow paint used in the Pollock hadn't been available until 1970. Jackson Pollock died in a car crash in 1956. Either the paintings are all real or they're all fake. We all know how that story turned out. The paintings looked really, really good. They fooled a lot of people. The real is on the right, it's not easy. The one on the right is real. <laughs> What surprised you about this case? Um, it surprised me that the paintings were being made in Queens by a math professor. These fakes were painted by an unknown Chinese artist in the garage of his home. I mean, it was just shocking. Rosales' boyfriend, Juan Carlos Bergantinos, worked with the painter to create the forgeries. He ran away, you know, left her holding the bag, and he took almost all the money. Who else should be in jail for this? Yo sé que... No. Oh. Okay, he doesn't like that question. We're talking here about $80.7 million worth of fake paintings. I was fooled. I believe the paintings were absolutely real. She knew exactly what she was doing. I didn't know that this would drastically affect these people's lives. Who was involved? What's the whole story? How could you devise such a scheme? That was, as it turned out, just the beginning of the story.